Today we're going to uh, be looking at these two Paradigm Titan V2 speakers. And uh, so these, uh, even though one says good and the other one says kind of blown, they are both uh, either in need of repair or will be in need of repair in another few years. So what that means is they're both going to get the repair at the same time, which is in a few days. Uh, once I get the part for them. And so uh, what I'm going to be doing is testing the difference between the good and the kind of blown one. And uh, just, just to tell you, uh, uh, I'm also going to be disassembling these and showing the problem, and it's the same in both of them, but in the good one it hasn't quite happened, and it's just barely hanging on. So let's get to the test. So let's test good first. Sounds quite good. Now I'm gonna switch the balance control between the good one and the kind of blown one. Right now. This is good. That's kind of blown. Notice the lack of bass. Right away. Good. The kind of blown one. Now, uh... I can tell you, these speakers, these speakers, uh, I'm going to be putting a lot of bass on, and just to tell you, the, the more bass you put on the, in these, the more boomy they'll sound. Uh, they sound really good on a flat EQ, so let's turn up the bass and see what happens when we do. Awesome. I think we're starting to get some distortion. And I'm not wrong, there is some distortion starting to happen. Now, the same thing, a little more volume. And back. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's quite distorted now, so. You can tell that one of them is a little bit off. When we take these things apart, we gotta know how to take them apart. Because if we tr start prying on the grill, chances are we'll break something. Because that grill does not come off. The real way to take these things apart is the back panel, which is held in by ten uh, screws, which, we'll, which we will be removing. Okay, now, when we take this off, we're going to have to unplug our wires and set that panel aside. And we've got two pieces of home insulation uh, that we have to remove. So once the home insulation that we saw in the speaker is set to the side, which in my case, I pretty much just set it on top of the uh, speaker's rear panel because I didn't want to set it directly on the carpet for fear that something weird could happen because, you know, it's made of glass. Uh, now, let's uh, take out the four screws holding in this woofer. Well, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the wires going to the woofer. The, the the tweeter is none of our issues right now. We, there's no issue with the tweeter. There's no b issues being caused by it. We literally just take off four screws holding it in. All right, that, like, like that. Okay, and lift and reveal. It looks like we've got 
a 6.5 inch woofer. Uh, it's, a, it's a good quality one, and pretty much what we've got going on here is almost nothing, but this foam surround is only barely hanging on on these. As you can see, it's almost starting to tear. It's only hanging on just by a little bit, and plus, there's a little tear right there. So, this speaker is still gonna sound quite good, and when you, uh, and when that foam surround's gonna tear, you never know. It's just deterioration. It just happens with time. And that's exactly what's happened with our other one, which I will be showing you. This one's totally torn around the, the edges. So it's not going to sound good as identified by the distortion we heard in our testing. So based on that, what we have to do with our speaker, uh, uh, with the kind of blown speaker, is we have to, uh, pretty much measure the inner diameter of the surround and the outer diameter of the surround and buy the part and wait for the part to arrive. When the part arrives, what we have to do is scrape off the original and once we scrape off the original and try our best to get off that glue, the, the original glue, what we do is we, what we'll have to do is we'll have to glue on the new surround with, and sometimes they provide glue, sometimes they don't, uh, but, uh, the, the kit for this particular speaker, I believe, is available on Amazon. It's a very nice speaker. If. If you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind repairing speakers, uh, if you don't mind repairing speakers, these are a good speaker to have, that's for sure. So, that's a very common problem with these, and how to, and how to, uh, repair it, and so, thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, and see you in my next video.